everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a getting organized vlog. This is also gonna be kind of like monthly reset part two because at the beginning of February, you guys, I was so tired. I just wanted to do like the chillest reset. I didn't really set that many goals nor that many to do's for myself because I was just like, I feel like January just drained me. Today is Monday and I woke up with like a fire under my butt to get my life together, to get organized, to get back on track. And of course, we're gonna do it together. So I was feeling audacious this morning and I was like, we're gonna do everything today, but I don't think that's realistic. So we're gonna spend the next day or two together. I am so happy that you're here. My name is Zoe, if you are new, I'm 27 and I live in Montreal. I love to talk about lifestyle, personal finance, mental health, all of that. So I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and please like this video if you are enjoying it. I also wanna give a huge shout out to Press Reset for sponsoring this video. I have been obsessed with their goal and habit tracker and I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. And it's gonna be what helps keeps us organized and gets us through these next few days of major get your life together. All right, so my coffee is on its last legs. I just filmed my everything I have saved, invested, and total debt at 27 years old. I've been putting off filming that video for so long because last year was one of my most viewed videos. So today really is the day that we are taking charge of our life. I'm tired of procrastinating. I'm tired of the little slump that I was kind of feeling in. I definitely needed to rest, but I feel like now I'm ready to like kick it up a notch. I think the trigger for me really, really feeling like fire ignited productivity, whatever, is that this past weekend, I like had a little too much fun. We went to a cottage for my friend Sophie's 30th birthday, a lot of food, drinking, hot tub. It was so much fun, but it was definitely exhausting. And then came home yesterday and yesterday Sunday was the Super Bowl. <laughs> So just again, like a lot of food, staying up late. I kind of slept in this morning, which was definitely necessary, but I was just looking back on the weekend and I was like, okay, it's really time to take action. So I was doing a little bit of journaling this morning and I basically just did like a brain dump of a bunch of the things that I wanna do to get organized. So I'm gonna transfer this list into my goal and habit tracker because I really like having a digital version to be able to like check everything off. Plus a lot of these are things that I think I could have put in my monthly reset. And I do use this goal and habit tracker for my monthly resets. You would have seen it. If you watch my monthly reset, then you saw it already. So let me get into editing mode here and then we can talk about everything that's on the to-do list. So this is the monthly dashboard for the goal and habit tracker. We are in February, 2024. Everything you see here, I already set at the beginning of the month. So these are my personal goals, wellness goals, financial goals, and career goals. I love at the top here that it automatically calculates the total goals you have set, what you've achieved so far, and you can even see a percentage. Plus it gives you a live update of the date. So the spreadsheet is super, super interactive, very, very automated, which I love. I used to use Notion for this kind of thing, but I find on Notion, you have to do a lot of the editing kind of manually. You have to do it by yourself. But here on this spreadsheet, it does it for you. You don't have to come back and delete and set up for the next month. You have every single month already created in a tab. So you don't need to do a lot of that editing yourself. It's just more simple, saves you time, which I love. It also makes graphs for you. So you can see the goals that you've set versus what you've achieved. We're only in the middle of the month right now, so haven't achieved much. And we also have a habit tracker down here, which I love because we can really see where I've been slacking so far, which is meditation has definitely been slacking. I've been watching TV a lot. Maggie's training definitely needs more work. And I definitely wanna start working out a little bit more frequently. And I haven't been waking up as early as I would like in February either, which is okay because like I said, I felt very tired and I do think I needed the rest, but I think it's time to start getting back into it because overall I do feel a lot better when I wake up early. If we scroll down, we have weekly to-do lists. I didn't use it last week, but we're gonna use it this week. So let's fill it in for everything that I wanna get done Ideally today, most likely today and tomorrow. And then as always, there's like a few stragglers. So I need to input my budget plus cash check-in. I need to buy dog food. I need to wash the sheets, hold laundry, car wash, water my plants, 
I need to update my Google Calendar. There are two other tasks, but I want to put them in the monthly must-dos just in case we don't have time, which is to go and clean up my storage locker. And then the house needs like a really good deep clean and tidy. I want to get started on it today, but I know that it's kind of something that might take a few days. Plus, I'm going to make JS, my boyfriend, help. So this list right here is what we're going to be working on in this vlog. And it's just so satisfying because you get to check them off. It scratches them out. I just love it. At the bottom, you have space for a monthly reflection. I just really, really love this spreadsheet. You also have an annual dashboard, which is where I set all of my annual goals for the year. Once again, it's divided personal health and wellness, financial and career. You have various trackers down here. It's amazing. So if you guys want to get your hands on this habit tracker, I highly recommend it. Plus I have a discount code for you guys. Zoe 20 will save you 20% off. And that code works on the entire Press Reset website. So you can also check out their wealth dashboard. So thank you so much Press Reset for sponsoring this video. You guys might've noticed over here in the career goals, I literally put down and I didn't just do it for this video. I swear I put down that I wanted to continue working with Press Reset in my career goals, manifested it. Okay, you guys, I think I've been in the house like all morning, just like kind of starting tidying. It's still such a mess. I think we need to get out of the house. I'm going to turn off these lights. <laughs> Look at this disaster, you guys. Oh my gosh. But the problem is truly that my fridge is empty right now. Like I don't have anything to eat for lunch. So we're gonna go out for lunch and I'm gonna use this opportunity to check a few things off the list. Just kind of run some errands, get out of the house, take Maggie for a long walk. So we'll go get her dog food. I need to go by the bank. And I'm really, really hoping, fingers crossed you guys that the car wash is open because it's been months that I need to clean my car. So let's get to it. Puppy, you wanna come run some errands? You wanna come? You guys, I'm so annoyed. It's closed. This is the spot. It's called Auto Wash the Spa. It must just only be open in the win in the summertime. Because but the thing is they don't update. This drives me insane. They don't update their Google hours. So it's like not clear. I'm going to I'm gonna check their sign. I'm like pulled over on the side of the road. Okay, this sign doesn't say anything. Like I just, I think they're only open like when it's nice out. Cause it just says like in case of snow, rain, we're closed. I just should just clean it myself, but I, I don't like doing it. And it's $22 here to clean the inside of your car and like 15 for the outside. It's like, it's just too good, you know? It's too good. Anyway, it's fine because I had to come over here anyways for the pet store and I want to get a Poke Bowl from Crude. So I'm just going to turn my car around and yeah, that's really disappointing. was kind of a fail i mean i got a nice walk in and i got lunch but the pet store is closed on mondays and like you guys saw the car wash was closed <laughs> so 
I'm starting to feel a bit frustrated. I made an appointment at a different car wash, but then it turns out that it's twice the price. It's $50. So I called JS and he agreed to help me wash my car tonight. So I'm just gonna cancel that appointment. I'll do it myself. Um, save a little bit of money. Now I'm home, it's 3.20, which is insane. And I'm starting to get what I call my like 3 p.m. panic, where it's like, I get this way when I set too many things that I wanna do and then I three o'clock comes around and I realize like I'm really not gonna be able to do everything that I wanted to. And I feel like I just lost like almost two hours just like driving around trying to run these errands and like things not working out, which is definitely really frustrating, but that's okay. I'm trying to remind myself like, just take everything one step at a time. I think the fact that I had coffee earlier, it didn't help. Even though it was a decaf, I feel like it's still kind of, just me and coffee are not uh, doing the shaking hands emoji. Anyways, I want to get started cleaning my place because I know that that will really help me feel better. At least if I just start tidying today and then maybe tomorrow I can start like doing the decluttering, doing more of the deep cleaning, but just you guys saw like the filming setup, the kitchen. It's a real disaster. So I want to get it tidied up. So before we start, I wanted to show you guys this insane PR package that I got because I want to like put it away and like integrate it into my life. Um, this is definitely the most stacked PR package I've ever got. And it's from Aroma Force. They sent me this like Valentine's Day bundle. Extremely, extremely generous. First up, we have this bath tray, which is something that I've always wanted, but I've never had one, is like you lay this over your bath. I think it's upside down. So it gives you a spot to put like, you can put like a candle, you can put a bowl with some snacks, you can put your book or like your iPad. Um, this is like for you to put a wine glass. It's so cool. In the package, they also included these two gorgeous wine glasses. This was like a Valentine's Day. PR package they asked if I wanted to receive it and I had no idea it would be this stacked like I said so these glasses are so cool we have some bath salts eucalyptus scented oh my gosh I'm so excited would you guys believe I've never tried eye mask patches so I think these you put in the fridge there's a candle really really nice made in Canada candle a whole entire bathrobe. I am shook. <laughs> it's so soft. A bath balm, love. And then something I've been wanting for so long, I just never bought for whatever reason, is a diffuser. Last year, I vowed to stop buying candles from Bath and Body Works and my intention was to get a diffuser instead. And then I just kind of never did and they sent over their diffuser and five essential oils. I'm most excited for the eucalyptus one. I know I have to be careful with Maggie because um, there are some essential oils that dogs do not do so well with, so I'm gonna look into that, but this is so kind and generous. So thank you so much, Aroma Force. It's like a really, really beautiful gift. And then today there was a knock on the door and I got this package from Athena Club. Oh my gosh. Oh my freaking gosh. Okay, what do we have in here? We have shaving foam, a whole new razor, body wash. I have their body wash right now in a smaller bottle. I love it and I love the bottle. It's just so pretty in the shower. So we have body wash, body lotion. I also have their body lotion and it's really good, but these are two different scents and it's different from the scent that I currently have. And what do we have here? Ooh, deodorant, vanilla scented deodorant. I wish you guys could feel the packaging. It's like a very like soft, like silicone almost feeling. It's really nice. So now you can get Athena Club in Canada and it seems like you can get it at Walmart. So this is so cool. Thank you, Athena Club. I have to say, I really do not take getting PR for granted. Like it's such a cool, part of the job and I know that like those big influencers they say like it can get overwhelming and whatnot and I could see why for the most part all of the PR I get they ask me if I want to receive it so I only say yes to things that like I really want to try or I know I'm going to use um, so it's always just really really cool that being said I want to get these boxes out of here so I want to take everything out 
give it a new home. Same thing with the Aroma Force package. Get the box out of here. Put all this stuff in the bathroom. Every time I get like PR or I get something for a video, JS comes home and he's just like, oh my gosh, like what, what is going on? This is a getting organized vlog and I actually feel like it's been too long, too long in my videos since we've done a good old cleaning montage. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready in three and two and one, let's get organized. <laughs> back from the grocery store prior to that i did maggie's training and she did 30 minutes which was my goal for february we jumped come here good girl we jumped from 15 minutes to 30 minutes i'm so proud of her really good really good job and that's gonna be a nice little check on the habit tracker i'm gonna go get it in a second so I'm feeling really tired, but I want to keep moving with like being productive. Lately, the kind of arrangement between JS and I has been that he cooks and makes dinner. We both usually clean up after, but I will take care of like the laundry, um, making the bed, that kind of stuff. And it's been really nice because I love doing laundry and I like cooking, but not like in a rush, not when it's like Monday night in a rush. I like to take my time. So he's back there cooking. I'm gonna open up YouTube. I love just sitting on the couch, watching YouTube, watching TV and folding laundry. Like I, I just love it. There are two hanging things to dry of laundry. And then that basket on the floor is full of like socks and stuff that was in the dryer. I like to watch YouTube on the guest profile. So there's no, like it's not my account logged in and it gives me all new like YouTubers and stuff to watch. So it's cool. Cause I get to like discover new YouTubers. This girl's like the TikTok girl. I didn't know she did YouTube, but 13 minutes, not a long enough video. No, thank you. 75 hard stresses me out. So I think we're just gonna watch this video from Lauren Snyder. I discovered her channel because of the guest algorithm and I really love her videos. My only wish is that they were longer because to me, 20 minutes is not long enough. Okay. We call it the Booster by Leather, which is sustainably sourced from recycled ocean waste. And they do have genuine. I personally love just having it on my shoulder, tiny. Then this gold one I love, or the golden black I love, because you can stack to open and close it. And it has so many compartments to keep all of your goodies stored. Do today, probably wear the white one. Even this one is so. I'm gonna start with the amendment again. 
Happy Tuesday, guys. It's a gorgeous, sunny day. I'm feeling so good. Went to a spin class this morning and I'm just like riding the endorphins high. I also, I'm just, I feel really happy when I put on an outfit that I love, that makes me feel com confident, comfortable and confident. Um, and it's this outfit. You guys have seen it before from Garage. It's basically my like weekly uniform when I have like a work day, um, but I still want to feel kind of like nice and put together. These flare leggings, they have like a little fold over waistband. And then I'm wearing a t-shirt underneath and then this cute like slightly cropped sweatshirt. I love it. Anyways, big work day ahead. I actually want to do a little sit down check in with you guys, check in on the habit tracker and make my agenda for the day. I just got off a call for copywriting. It's almost, oh, it's only 11. Okay, it's not so bad. I already am like feeling overwhelmed by the day. So let's sit down. JS was feeling bougie the other day and bought this Aesop room spray. I just did a spritz. Oh my God, it smells so good. You feel like your home is like a luxury hotel. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I've told you guys about this before, but a really bad habit that I have that I've had since I was young is lip picking, like especially in the wintertime when my lips are dry, I'll like pick at my lips the same way that some people like bite their nails or I also do that. I pick like at the side of my um, fingernails, but I need to have like lip balm on me at all times because when I'm just like sitting working, if I'm a little bit stressed or anxious, um, even if I'm bored, I start like picking at my lips and it's a really, really bad habit. I actually, a few years ago, <laughs> went and saw a hypnotist and it totally got rid of it for like two, three years. And then when I started um, just like working corporate again and like, not again, when I graduated university, I got it done while I was in university. Um, and when I started working full time, it came back. So I really like just want to work on getting rid of it and I'll go like weeks at a time where I don't do it and then it just like creeps back up on me. It's just such a hard habit to break. I just revamped my tea and like I said, I want to take a look at the habit tracker with you guys. So let me share my screen. You guys, I feel such a weight off of my shoulders. My car was filthy and I was actually kind of ashamed and I felt kind of disappointed in myself because I had let it get so bad. We have a little car wash station with like a hose and stuff um, downstairs in the garage. And then JS bought like a bunch of stuff to clean the car. So we have wipes for the leather seats. We have like wipes for the inside. He has like soap for the outside. So I did the inside, he did the outside, vacuumed everything. And it's so funny how like, you know, my car's pretty old, but just cleaning it makes it feel brand new all over again. So I'm really glad I didn't end up paying the 50 bucks. It did take a while for both of us to do it, but it was fun. We both just listened to music and we're like next to each other, but not really talking. So I'm really thankful for his help. And that means that we can finally check off this personal goal of cleaning my car. This has been overdue since November. And I think I also put it, yeah, I have it here on my monthly to do. And then I put it in my weekly car wash done. So also taking a look at week two here, I did fold the laundry. Um, Google calendar. It's like I started doing it the other day. I didn't finish, but I feel like it's not 
necessarily like my super priority right now so i'm gonna mark it as finished and then if i get the urge to like further revamp it and take it further then i will do so if we scroll up today is tuesday so i did wake up early i already checked this off and i did a workout which is great i haven't taken my supplements yet so we can go do that i'm gonna train maggie today water meditation yeah so you guys can see down here on the list i put meditate twice because my goal for february was to do two meditations a week last week first week of february i didn't this week we need to catch up so i think i'll just do that later today when i feel up for it oh washing the sheets yeah i did that okay so the things we need to do today are take my supplements water the plants we need to buy dog food i also need to go pick up if you guys watched my monthly reset i need to go pick up rich baby piggy the little piggy bank that i painted um so i might do that today because it's a really nice day for a drive but basically today what to tuesday today tuesday we are going to just be balancing getting some personal stuff done as well as getting some work stuff done because the train needs to keep moving so i think what i'm going to do I am going to start um, editing a video, the one I filmed yesterday because I want it to go up on Thursday. I'm so advanced, look at that. One thing about me, you guys, is I'm a very last minute person in life. I'm a true procrastinator. If you give me a deadline, I'm gonna do it the day before the deadline. So I'm always like playing catch up, which isn't great and sure it's kind of something i'd like to change about myself but like everything always gets done so i'm kind of like eh, whatever i might like it's not it's not my top priority of like things i want to you know improve about myself so i'm opening up imovie i'm going to import all of the clips from yesterday Life is so funny, you guys. When February started, it was like a really slow month for me just in terms of like brand partnerships on YouTube. Um, obviously, I was still going to be like filming and doing videos and stuff, but having like a brand partnership adds just like an extra layer of work. Super cool, super grateful for it, but you know, it just makes things a little bit busier. And copywriting was also looking super um, not busy. And then I just got like a flood of emails and then a bunch of really cool brand opportunities popped up and I'm definitely in like a working hard and like saying yes phase of life. Like I like the idea of like chilling out and I think mentally, even though I'm saying yes and even though I'm still in that working hard mindset, I'm trying not to stress about things the way that I used to and not get overwhelmed. Saying yes to everything, working hard, but like, kind of working in flow, like gentle productivity style. All that to say, I was expecting February to be dead and it is not turning out to be dead, but that's cool. I'm really, really grateful for everything, like for my work and for copywriting and just everything. Like life is, life is good, <laughs> life is good. Okay, why isn't this working? Okay, we're gonna try something. I just got these shots from Magic Mind. They're supposed to help with like productivity and help you enter flow state. So I'm really excited to try. Look how cute these are. Productivity shot. Subtle energy boost, pr crush procrastination, enter, elevate mental clarity. They sent me these because they wanted to do a sponsored video together, but I had to try them out first. I have to say the packaging is adorable. The ingredients are really nice as well. So we're gonna take this shot. As you guys can tell by my ramblings, I'm having a bit of a hard time focusing today. Ooh, oh my gosh, that is an interesting taste. It's like juicy, but then a little bit spicy. Okay, clearly I'm bad at doing shots because I'm doing it in like multiple gulps. Oh, okay. Okay, good taste. It's like juice with a kick. And I'm gonna take out all of my supplements. Someone suggested that I get like a organizer for my supplements and I found one on Amazon. It's just, I don't wanna pay for shipping. 
so I'm like, I don't know. I'm trying to wait until there's something else I need from Amazon so that I can just order it and get free shipping because it's like annoying to pay $5 for shipping when the thing you're ordering costs $15. But then it's also like, okay, so I'm gonna buy something else that maybe I don't need to get to $35 to get free shipping. Like, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily make sense. All right. Now, normally, I also take a little collection of mushrooms. Some of them help with focus. Some of them just help with like immunity and health. But because I took the productivity shot, I'm not gonna take them just yet because I wanna see if the productivity shot like actually works. So you guys, I need to put my camera away before I keep rambling on to infinity. I'm gonna get to work a little bit and I will see you guys on the other side. Are you trying to get your food? You're trying already to get your food? Don't worry, I'll bring it home safely for you. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Good job. Okay, you guys, look at my car. Look how good it looks. So beautiful. I'm so happy. It's like, look at the paint. Brand new. It's the most beautiful day ever. We just went to Paws, which is the pet store in Point St. Charles where I tried to come yesterday, but they were closed. It's like an independent pet store and they're just, the lighting, oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta go. Someone's trying to take my parking spot. home I just made a matcha it is such a beautiful day outside and it was taking everything within me to not go get a coffee go get a matcha walk around just enjoy the sunshine but I have so much work that I need to do that I was like I just need to like come home and finish it and then tonight I'll be able to like go take a long walk do Maggie's training and just really do those things that make me feel good because the past two days in this whole video is just about getting back on track so I had to deny myself a little bit and to compensate myself to reward myself I made a matcha at home I wanted to go out and get one so badly you guys like sometimes in the middle of the day when I'm running errands I'm just like oh go get a coffee go get a matcha it'll make you so happy and yes it probably would but I ate out lunch yesterday I had matcha stuff at home so I was like just come home and make it get back to work the day is almost done and you will thank yourself. That is what I told myself. So right now I wanna do a little budget check-in because it's almost the middle of the month. Plus you guys know I just love talking about money with you guys. I have a few receipts that I need to input. We have the lunch from yesterday and Maggie's dog food. I also had one instance or two instances where I need to pay myself back. So just in case anyone is new, I follow a cash envelopes method. Oh, it looks like, it also looks like there's some groceries I need to input. But yes, I follow a cash envelopes method of budgeting, which means that for my day-to-day -day spending, I divided up all of the areas in which I spend into categories, and then I allocate a cash amount to those categories. So things like coffee, groceries, dining out, they all have their own category and I carry my envelopes around in this folio. Both of these products are from the line. And you guys, I can't believe I forgot to tell you, but I have a really exciting announcement. The line and I are trying something new. We are partnering up once again, this time to offer one-on-one -on -one cash envelopes consultations. So if you've been wanting to try cash envelopes, if you've tried it and you had a few little hiccups, 
we are now offering one-on-one -on -one sessions where you can meet with me for 30 minutes just to talk about your cash budget and I can give you personalized like one-on-one -on -one advice. I have put out so much content out there and hopefully it's been super, super helpful, but I know some people like a more one-on-one -on -one approach. So that was the idea behind offering these consultations. We did 30 minutes because we wanted them to be just really quick and to the point. They are priced a little bit higher because we had to choose an amount that was reflective of my time and and just the value that you're gonna get out of these sessions. But I wanna be really clear, these are meant to be like one session and you're set up for success. It's not meant to be like a recurring coaching or like not like therapy, like it's not recurring. You maybe wanna have one, maybe max two sessions just to get you set up, send you on your way. It's really so that you can get that one-on-one -on -one advice if you feel like you need it when starting out the cash envelopes. So I will have that service linked down below if you wanna book 30 minutes with me. I think that would be so cool. The way I see it is it's kind of like an investment in your initial setup with your budgeting. I have saved thousands and thousands of dollars over the past few years using cash envelopes. So sometimes it does take a little bit of an initial investment, but of course, if you don't have the room for it in your budget right now, if you're like, mm, that's too expensive, I have so much free content out there with regards to cash envelopes. We just wanted to offer it for anyone who might be interested. So that's new, that's exciting. If you do book, let me know in the comments. All right, so we have three receipts to input. These were all spent with cash. So I just go into my budget tracker and I input them. Maggie's food today cost $80, $82 to be exact. Lunch yesterday, did I already put it in? No. From dining out was $25. And I went to the grocery store. I went to actually the special cheese store on Friday. So that's groceries. And I spent $11.50. So these receipts, because they were paid cash, I just throw them out. Then the next thing I need to take a look at is I ordered over the weekend, I ordered a new pair of running shoes, which I did indeed budget for. So I had budgeted for it in cash, but I bought the shoes online. So I just go into my folio. I find my treat yourself envelope. Here it is. So that's $100, 20, okay, 140 is what I budgeted. The shoes ended up costing $150. So I'm off by 10, but that's not so bad. And then I have this special spent on credit envelope where I will put the cash so that I don't see it in my envelopes and think that I can go ahead and spend it. And then at the end of the month, I will take this to the ATM, which I was actually really late doing this month and you guys saw me doing it yesterday. So that's a little cash envelopes update. And then I just removed the flag on the budget tracker that said I needed to repay it. So I know that we're all squared up. I can put this away. I'm looking at the clock now, it's already 3.30. I don't know how the day has gone by so quickly. I've been trying to finish at four o'clock most days so that, like I said, I can do Maggie's training, do a little meditation. Um, while I was out running errands, I did get an email from my like copywriting boss asking me to do a quick turnaround on something. And I was like, ah, because I'm only halfway through my video. I've been editing my video for a few hours now and I'm still only at the halfway point. It's just like, there's a lot of like on-screen like pop-ups and stuff. So it's taking longer to edit. And I just like have that feeling like I'm being kind of pulled in many directions. Anyways, I'm gonna prioritize the rush request because I do have time for my video. And then I also think it's important that I prioritize myself and my own self-care and doing Maggie's training. So I'm going to do the copywriting right now and then it will be time to do Maggie's training, do my meditations because I often do this where I just prioritize work, 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 work. And then that's how you end up, you know, kind of looking and being like, oh, I didn't do anything for myself. And I mean, yes, I went to a spin class and like, yes, I ran some errands, but the, like to me, Maggie's training is so important. I'm really trying to prioritize it right now. And same thing with doing meditations. Like it's, that's what everyone says. is like, you have to make time for it. Like the time to do these things doesn't just fall in your lap. You have to prioritize it and make the time for it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then when JS gets home, we're gonna make tomato soup for dinner. I'm so excited. I probably, I'm gonna make it since he made everything last night and tomorrow's Valentine's day. So we're probably gonna eat out. Anyway, that's what's up. That's what's up. 
Let's get to work and try not to be stressed.